Welcome back to our channel Cooking Pass. Today we will show you an amazing veg paneer recipe, paneer navaratna. Navaratna means nine gems, and we are introducing paneer navaratna, where you can choose nine vegetables or dry foods or fruits along with paneer. So here paneer will be the main ingredients. The dish is made with rich creamy thick gravy we have not used onion and garlic in this recipe this is pure vegetarian dish you can enjoy this on your veg special day so let's begin we have taken 200 grams of paneer cut into one inch cubes We will also use 9 types of masalas. Here we have taken 1 bay leaf, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 dry red chili, 1 teaspoon of kasori methi, 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, poppy seeds 3 teaspoon, 1 teaspoon of melon seeds or charmoguj, 2 green chilies, 1 inch of ginger. First we will make a smooth paste of fennel seeds, poppy seeds, melon seeds, green chilies and ginger. This is the paste we have made with the help of mixer grinder. We have taken 3 types of dry foods and 6 types of vegetables. Dry foods we have taken 14 pieces of cashew nuts and resins each and 7 pieces of almonds. We have soaked these 3 types of dry foods in water for an hour. After an hour we have chopped the almonds like this. 6 vegetables we have taken, some cauliflower cut into florets, 1 small potato cut into cubes, 1 fourth of a capsicum cut into cubes, 1 small carrot cut into cubes or big chunks, 4 to 5 beans cut lengthwise and some fresh green peas. Now we will put all veggies into the water in a bowl and we are adding a teaspoon of sugar into this and we will microwave this for 3 minutes so that all veggies will be boiled 30% and the color of the veggies will remain same. You can boil this for 3 minutes in gas oven in medium flame as well. After 3 minutes take it out from the microwave and strain it well. Heat the karai. Add some refined oil to shallow fry the paneer pieces. Once the oil is hot, add the paneer cubes into this and fry this until it is light golden in color. Remember, always before frying the paneer pieces, heat the karai very well so that the paneer won't stick to the bottom. Fry the paneer pieces in medium flame. When the paneer is light golden in color, take it out from the karai and keep it aside for the later use. Now in the same hot oil add bay leaf, dry red chili, cumin seeds, saute this for few seconds in low flame. Next we are adding half teaspoon of ginger paste into this. Saute this for few more seconds in low to medium flame. Now we will add the blanched vegetables into this. Saute this well in medium to high flame for 5 minutes. Next we are adding some salt into this. You can add salt as per your taste. Mix it well. Cover this and let it simmer for 2 minutes in low flame. After 2 minutes open the lid and check if all veggies are cooked perfectly. Next we will add the soaked cashew nuts and raisins into this. Also the chopped almonds followed by. Saute this well in medium flame for 2 more minutes. Now we will add the paste which we have prepared before. Mix it all together very well and cook it for 3 more minutes in medium flame. Now we are adding some water into this for the gravy. 
you can add water as per your requirement of the gravy. Stir it very well. Next we are adding the fried paneer cubes into this and mix it all together properly. You can add more water as per your requirement of the gravy. Make sure all vegetables are cooked perfectly. Cook it for few more minutes in medium to high flame until the gravy becomes thickened. Cover it with a lid and keep it for 2 more minutes in low flame like this. After 2 minutes open the lid and stir it well. Check the taste, if it requires add salt as per your requirement and mix it properly. Cover this and let it boil for 2 more minutes in medium flame. You can see it has started boiling and the gravy becomes thickened too. So now we will add half teaspoon of Shahi Garam Masala powder into this. We will add a teaspoon of kasori methi into this and give it a quick mix. We are adding a teaspoon of ghee into this and mix it all together very well. Make sure everything is well combined. Now switch off the gas and cover this and let it rest for 5 more minutes like this. Your paneer navaratna is now done and ready. Serve this hot with roti, paratha, pulao or jeera rice as per your choice. Transfer this into a serving bowl and enjoy. Must try this recipe at home and do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this recipe, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And do not forget to hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching. We'll be back soon with another delicious recipes. Till then, happy cooking and stay tuned.